What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Not Lad. Hey, we're gonna find love or die trying today. That's right. We're on our second day today, and uh, I'm hopeful. And that's about all it can be. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, we'll we're, we'll find out more about each person, and I, I'm suspecting Tara is probably gonna be the first one here that we're gonna actually find more about. So we'll see how that goes. But anyways, we have Kat here, and we're gonna talk with her first. So, morning, Eve. Congrats, you've made it to the fourth day, and you become the first person to have not one, not two, but three soulmate candidates. Who'd have thought? Granted, soulmate candidates don't really exist, but hey, we'll edit that part out. You should be really, really proud of yourself. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. I'll leave that for you to guess. Anyways, between your three <coughs> lucky romantic interests, Tara, Violet, and Yui, who do you want to spend today with? Um, let's do Tara. Tara. All right, sounds like a plan to me. I think she's working on something in the mansion. Uh, lead the way. Why'd she tell me to lead the way? Okay, I don't know. That's fine. <laughs> I knocked on the door to the game room. Hey, Eve, what's up? I thought I'd check in and see how you're doing with your game. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm working on then. Tara handed me her game device. Not all the art's ready yet, but I'm hoping it'll be done soon. <clears throat> it's a farming game. I had to ditch the pigeon dating idea after, uh, well, finding out it was already done. Are you, wait, is there actually a pigeon dating simulator? I gotta look this up. <laughs> I'll look it up, I'll look it up eventually, just not right now, but uh, eventually I'll, I'll, I'll have a look, I'll see. Well, you know what, no, let's just take a moment. Is there a pigeon dating simulator game? According to Steam, roam the halls and find love in between classes as a sophomore student at the world's greatest pigeon high school. Finding happiness won't be easy, but it's not all academic. There's always time for a little romance in this delightful remake of Hato Moa's popular visual novel, Avian Dating Sim Hatoful Boyfriend. Wait, do you think this is done by the same people? No. No, it can't be. I don't know. So intriguing. Okay. Anyways, so there is a dating simulator game out there in the world. How about that? Uh, that's really a shame for the whole world, really. <laughs> but in this game, you get to live in a village out in the country, make friends, raise crops, and decimate all the invaders with your giant mecha pigeon <laughs> death machine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there's uh one million possible weapon combinations and oh let's be nice that sounds cool wow that sounds cool i'd love to play it i'm curious how come you decided to make a farming game um good question they've just got a special place in my heart i used to just play these morning till night every day you can probably tell I'm not really a go-out-and-party kind of person. To be honest, I don't know enough people to go to parties anyways, but whatever. Okay, sometimes it's more fun just to do your own thing. Hey, it's your choice on how you spend your own time. Um, these kind of sound about the same. I mean, uh, sometimes it's more fun to just do your own thing. Oh, let's do that one. Sometimes it can be more fun to stay indoors and just do what you want, to, what you enjoy. That's how I feel about it. Enough talk. Try playing it. I want to see how you feel about it. All right, here we go. The title screen displayed with a click. Star Blue Valley. I was a mecha pilot who got tired of life in the mecha corps and decided to move out to the country to become a farmer. I was a pretty good one at that. Every season, I'd learn to plant, water, and harvest new kinds of crops. Tara would give me advice for farming in every season. 
Her face was so close to mine, she'd watch my every move with a pensive expression. <laughs> uh, farming and fishing felt great, but fishing was almost impossible to do at first. The mecha part of the game felt incredible. You could even get to know the villagers and have relationships with them too. There was just one thing that was a bit weird. What? First, wow. What you have so far is incredible, Terra. You think so? Yeah, really, it's incredible. I never thought you could combine farming and being a me mecha pilot in the same game, but you did it just fine. Thanks, Eve. That's nice of you to say. Ugh. Excuse me. Ugh. All right. There's just one thing I think that was a little off. What was that? Any feedback would be great. I feel like the relationships with the townspeople were a little weird. The dating aspect didn't really feel right. Ah, I knew you'd notice that. It's kind of embarrassing, but I've never actually dated before, so I have no idea what it's really like. Aww. And to be honest, I've never really had a real friend either. If it's not too much to ask, her voice suddenly reduced to a whisper. Maybe you and I could be friends? I'd be honored to be your friend. Oh, that sounds... I didn't think people still used honor. I use the word honor all the time. Uh, that's just how I speak. But other people don't use that word. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's interesting to hear that. That's cool. That said, please don't trap me in a video game again. <laughs> Sorry, what? Anyways, watching you play gave me some ideas. Want to help me with testing them? Sure, I'd be happy to help however I can. We both suggested ideas, she implemented it, and we'd test it together and repeat. It just kept getting better and better. Tara's smile and enthusiasm was contagious. I couldn't help but be excited for her and in awe of her drive. We spent the rest of the day working on her game, but it only felt like minutes. I'm just glad it wasn't another virtual reality game. <laughs> Alright. Aww, that's sweet. I was feeling a bit restless after today's date to wait in my room, so I went downstairs to relax. Wait, have we did this prompt before? No, I don't think so. Looks like someone had the same idea as I did. Cat was relaxing on the sofa with a bottle of red wine in hand. Yeah, this is new. Hey there, Eve. Care for a glass or five? <laughs> um, no thanks. That's okay. I don't want to wake up with a hangover. You're on a killer dating show. You're worried about a hangover? I want whatever you're drinking. <laughs> Cat filled her glass to the brim, then downed it in one go. Wait, is this the prompt we were missing? Because remember she came up to me before and she was like, oh, oh, I'm just not, I'm out of it. I'm not feeling so good. And then she had me do all of her books and stuff like that. Um, I, I feel like this was the prompt that was supposed to be come before it, but I have no idea. Nope. Still not feeling like a hangover is worth worrying about here. She laughed and lightly jabbed me. I felt like I was finally getting to see her real smile. Cat started chugging down the bottle. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you okay? I worked on a TV show that kills innocent people for shits and giggles, and how okay do you think I could be? You might want to stop drinking that. You're more of a buzzkill than Damien, and I don't even know how that's possible. He's killed people with buzz saws. That's not good. Sorry, Eve. I didn't mean that. It's okay, Cat. No worries. Now that you mention it, how did you end up working here anyways? Yes, finally we get to know a little more about Cat, if she'll tell me. Oh, you know, the old career fair down the block. <laughs> she laid down on the sofa. If you're here for the daily interview where I ask you about your day, I already have enough footage for today. As strange as it might sound, Cat, I'm here because I'm worried about you. And why is that? People who chug a whole bottle of wine in one night usually aren't in the best place. 
Worry about yourself, Eve. Sorry, I'm doing the accent of uh, Violet. <laughs> if you, if you knew some of the things I, oh, if you knew some of the things I'd done to survive, you wouldn't be trying to comfort me. From what it sounds like, no one really had any choice. You just focus on orating magnets on your dates. I'll be fine. Thanks, Eve. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Good night, cat. Don't stay up too late. <laughs> great, well, great. The walking corpse is giving me advice on how to live now. <laughs> Do I really look that bad right now? Good night, cat. I hurried along. Now hold on, just a. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, that felt good. All right. <laughs> if only I could escape this island as easily as I could from a very, very drunk cat. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. If cat's drunk, then who's making sure today's episode is good? Something tells me I'm not going to sleep very well tonight. The two of us were lying down in a grassy field, watching the world pass us by. She doesn't sound like Tara. She's not an outdoorsy person. <laughs> But, ah, uh, I don't know. Where would you want to go when we're out of here? The countryside. Seems like it'd be the only place nowadays that you can get some peace and quiet. That does sound nice. Would you come with me? I know it's not for everybody, and it's missing a lot of the... You don't have to ask, love. Aw, of course I'm coming with you. We're a team, right? We're a team. She moved closer. I held her tight in my arms. Mom would have loved you. Mom, so she has a mother. <laughs> we, we got that. Uh, wait, did... <sighs> Ellie, uh, or Ellie, she didn't have a mom. She just had the... Well, she didn't have her dad. But she never mentioned her mom, though, so... We know Violet has both her parents. Tara, I have no idea. Um, Scarlet, I have no clue. Yeah, I don't know. Well, she can't remember, so... I don't know. This is so mysterious. I know. Wait, did I read that last one? I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, we'll make sure our kids get a chance to meet theirs, though. <laughs> her fur face turned bright red. What? 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 S -s say that after we're actually engaged. It's cute how embarrassed she gets. You mean it? Every word. You're sweet. Not as sweet as you. Aww. Oh, I love it. But who is she? It's gotta be one of these. Unless it's Cat. Which, that's a whole different spin around. Which I feel like this story might be going that way. But still, she was willing to wipe my memory though and stuff. So I don't feel it's Cat. <laughs> But if she's missing her memory too, maybe she doesn't know what she's doing. I don't know. The girls and I kicked off our morning by testing out Tara's game together. It was multiplayer now, so we all could play together in the same world. This came with its own fair share of consequences. I said cover me or you'll have to finish making dinner yourself. I'm trying. I'm trying. There's just too many mutant vegetables attacking. Yui, I need to I need you to cover me. Where are you? I'm sorry. It's the major's birthday. I can't decide which berry to give him. It can wait. But then I won't get bonus points. Come to think of it, I think we're running low on tomatoes and carrots. Do you need any violet? We had enough to survive the winter, but more supplies are always welcome. I'm on it. <laughs> well, the game has definitely gotten more exciting. I wanted I, I wanted for them to test the relationships, but maybe that'll have to wait a bit. I I guess we'll see you next time? Yeah, next time. I can't wait. We spent the rest of the morning playing Tara's game. Oh she didn't love <laughs> Oh I saw her face. That was not a happy face. Oh no. Yui is gonna murder. <laughs> Good morning, cat. I've been looking for you. 
Uh, not so loud. Please, my hell is killing me. See? Yes! See? Now that makes more sense. That was the dialogue we got last time. So I have to add, add the broadcast, which didn't help. Okay. Somehow, if you, this, this scene feels familiar. Yep. Something tells me that my chance of surviving goes down for every open bottle of alcohol on, this, on the island. Maybe I should spend today reenacting prohibition instead of going on a date. <laughs> you do know how the pro prohibition ended, right? Anyway, back to the brass tacks. Yesterday, second date with Tara went really well. Let's keep striking the iron while it's hot. Which soulmate candidate will you be going on a second date with today? Uh, let's do Violet. I don't want to go on with Yuri again. I know I said Yuri, but I'm just not. No. <laughs> nice. I kind of have a feel. Uh, I kind of had a feeling you would. I think Violet's somewhere around the mansion. Lead the way. All right. I found Violet taking a walk outside the mansion. Hey, Violet, what's up? Hello there, Eve. I just thought I'd take a nice afternoon walk. This place truly does bring back memories of home. You lived on your own personal island? Nothing. Nothing quite that. Oh, nothing quite that. Borgiosi? <laughs> Borgiosi? Borgia. Borgiosi. <laughs> what does that mean? I've never heard that word in my life. Have you ever heard that word in your life? Leave a comment down below if you've ever heard that word in your lifetime. <laughs> I have never heard that word before. I even know if I've ever seen that in a dictionary. Nothing quite that burgiosi. I don't know what that means. Anyways, I've got a surprise for you. Wanna see? For me? I... I mentioned for her to follow me into the mansion. I asked Kat to pull a few strings, and well, we have everything we need to bake whatever we want now. Oh my. Violet looked at me with childlike wonder in her eyes. Oh, such a nice guy. I'm glad. Let's get right to it then. Why don't we? <laughs> she was practically asking, uh, she was practically shaking with excitement. Her smile and laughter was positively infectious. Oh my gosh. Blah. <laughs> um... Okay, I was gonna mention something I really love about this game. Um, like my character is really nice, and I I know like a lot of like these like dating sim sims and uh, like this kind of like text adventure. Usually, like the main character can be an asshole, <laughs> and um, I'm just glad that's not the case uh, because like it really just makes you feel bad about how things are going and then uh it's even even worse when the other characters respond to it and uh it, it's because yeah it's just like it's not how i would be and i guess i just don't like that myself so yeah anyways I, that's the thing i kind of like about this it's kind of nice um we decided to make a chocolate cake. It was her favorite flavor, and I don't remember mine. <laughs> uh, that said, I almost don't remember a thing about how to make cakes, but with Violet, that wasn't a problem. She got me up to speed with a soft and steady hand, and before long, we had the cake in the oven baking away. I wish it took longer to make. Seeing Violet do what she loved most was a treat. When she pulled the cake out of the oven, she looked like a kid on Christmas Day. Aw, aw, that's cute. Aw, what a cute photo. Aw, that's adorable. Aw, now just for the finishing touches, a little more. <laughs> now just for the finishing touches, a little more here, a little more there. Aw, I like her. She's see, I should have never judged her. She was on the bottom of my list, and here she's kind of going up further in my list. <laughs> she was in her old own world, humming away. She danced around the cake, decorating it as she went along. I couldn't help but smile and watch her in admiration. She's pure happiness right now. I wish I could take this moment and just freeze it in time for safekeeping. I can't wait to share this with the others. But first, Eve, would you mind testing it? You don't have to ask, believe me, I'm the first in the line to try it out. <laughs> Thank you, I just... I'm um, unsure if what I make is worth eating or not. 
Why is that? My family's caretaker, Lucine, was the one who taught me to bake. Besides my sister, Lucine was the only one who ever bothered to try what I made. Sometimes I worry they told me it's delicious just to make me feel better. I took a little off the top of her cake with my fingers and licked it off. It's delicious, Violet. <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> Would you want to help me a little longer? I'm having far too much fun to just stop now. I've just started making some cookies, and I find I quite enjoy your company and help, Eve. I'd love to. Let me know how I can help. Violet passed me a bowl full of cookie dough, then a tray. All you need to do is make little cookie-shaped pieces out of this dough, then put them on the tray. Do try not to put any of them too close together on the tray, or it'll become something of a mutant cookie in the oven. <laughs> Got it. No mutant cookies here. <laughs> I ripped off a piece of dough from the bowl and rolled it into the size and shape of a cookie. Perfect, you're a natural. Thanks, Violet. I... Wow. In the time it took me to make one, Violet had made six perfect cookies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she moved with mechanical efficiency as she kneaded balls of dough into perfectly shaped cookies. Wow. I thought you were great before, but you're really incredible. How long have you been doing this? Excuse me. Perhaps since I was about, say, five. To this day, it remains the only thing I can best my sisters at. I finished making another cookie as Violet finished three more. <laughs> she held up one of the cookies and raised it to her face. You've got, you've gotten quite skilled at this, Eve. I just wanted to say again, thank you for her. Oh, I just wanted to say again, thank you for arranging this. I'm on top of the world right now. It was my pleasure, Violet. Gosh, she's adorable when she smiles. For a few seconds, we kept working on the cookies in admirable silence. Our eyes locked on each other's. You said you had a sister. <laughs> is she as hot as you? <laughs> no, she can't. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to say that. That can cause some conflict. Um, also, I think I am slightly out of frame here. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for that. Mm, sorry. <laughs> uh, why, yes. Why, yes, indeed. Viola Valentine. First twins in the family. She's... Oh, I'm out of my room on- what? Oh, I'm out of room on my tray. <laughs> she flashed a devious smile in my direction right before she lightly threw dough ball at my face. <laughs> What's with that cheeky- <laughs> Before I could react, it splattered against and stuck to my face. She burst into childlike laughter. Nice catch, Eve. Perhaps you might try using your hands next time. Oh, it's on. I couldn't stop myself from smiling as I grabbed some ammo from my own cookie tray and threw them at her. She dodged them with ease and laughed. <laughs> it's quite humorous how an old caretaker managed to do what you are struggling to do now. <laughs> I interrupted her gloating with another dough ball throw. This time, it made a satisfying splat against her left cheek. <laughs> Strike. <laughs> oh, you're so going down. Her smile turned devilish <laughs> as she grabbed another dough ball. Oh shit. <laughs> I've only a second before next volley and I... Go on the offensive. Go on the defensive. Um... I don't know how... Is this important? Like this choice? Is this important? I'm going the defensive, because I, 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 I don't know if that's going to cause some conflict. I ducked behind the kitchen counter, and an instant later, a dope ball flew above my head. I think it was a nice... That was probably the best one. Ha! Nice! Uh-oh. <laughs> While I was gloating, Violet threw a dope ball that splattered against my forehead. Ah! <laughs> and then another landed right next to it. <laughs> ah! Mercy! And then another. <laughs> I crumpled to the floor in defeat. I declared this my victory in absolute confidence. She laughed as she pointed at all the dough on my face. 
I took the opportunity to interrupt her speech with another dough ball. <laughs> it splattered right against her left cheek. Oh, you're even more dead now. For her kid surviving this crazy TV show, I don't know if I'm surviving the next five minutes. I was like looking a tiger dead in the eye. <laughs> Violet reloaded her ammo and was winding up for another throw. It was all I could do to reach for one more ball and scream in defiance, BRING IT ON! <laughs> Some say you can still hear my screams in that kitchen to this day. <laughs> we finished cleaning up after our impromptu food fight and brought the desserts that survived the Great War to the porch. Her smile and laughter were infectious. Pardon me but I guess we can rule out you being a baseball player before you had come to this island. She put her hand tenderly against my face as she wiped off some of the remaining dough. We locked eyes yet again. Her eyes were practically magnetic. Thanks for playing along, Eve. I suppose it's been too long since I've had that much fun. So thank you for indulging my little whim. It was a lot of fun for me too, Violet. Don't mention it. Besides, I think I got a few good hits in to make it worth it. <laughs> I'm worried for you. It appears your amnesia is getting even worse. <laughs> Violet laughed as she picked off some more crumbs off my face and licked them off her fingers. Her eyes seemed to linger on mine. I do hope we can spend more time together soon. I quite like this. I like that, Violet. I had a lot of fun with you, too. You're full of surprises, you know. Just wait and see. <laughs> There's more where that came from. We spend the rest of the day talking and eating little desserts together on the porch. Though Violet seemed quite distant when I first met her, I learned that the real Violet was nothing like that at all and full of surprises. She could be unexpectedly shy one moment, then mischievous as a child another. One thing's for sure, being around her makes my heart skip a beat, and the time fly. Before I realized how much time had passed, it was already pitch black outside. Hmm, that's cute. <laughs> Seems like a nice night for a walk. Oh, hey Eve. What are you doing out here? Just going for a walk. Care to join me? Sure, why not? I got a few minutes. How about we do a circle around the mansion grounds? Sounds good to me. Wow, I actually get to spend more time with her. That's interesting. So how'd your date with Violet go? Ah, are we already back to our daily interviews? Did the island run out of wine? <laughs> that's whole, that's wholly unrelated. <laughs> but yes, wholly unrelated. Okay. Anyway, my date with Violet today was awesome. It was wonderful, and that's not a word I say very often. It's not every day where you get to spend it with, an, with a woman who can turn a kitchen into a war zone. <laughs> <coughs> I can't remember the last time I had so much fun, and that's not the amnesia talking. Violet reali really is something, ain't she? No kidding. I'd expect no less from the woman who cur currently... Our audience's favorite. Oh, it's currently our audience's favorite. Uh, whenever we get you both in the same room, ratings just soar, soar through the roof. I can't say I'm surprised to hear that. Keep it up with what you're doing. Our ratings have only been climbing higher and higher every day. But it's not time to celebrate just yet. I know. Don't worry. I'm sticking to the plan. That's good to hear. Seriously. If you got yourself killed by not following the plan at this point, you deserve it. I deserve it. Looks like we finally finished our walk. Anyways, I gotta get back to work, but it was a nice break. Night Eve. Night Cat. See, she seems so nice to me during just all this stuff, but... I know that she's the one who's gonna put the cap on my head in the end. Not cool. I walked back to my room and plopped on my bed. Time to get some shut-eye. The scent of something delicious being freshly baked 
waft through the cushion. See, now, ah, it's really trying to confuse me. It brought up the gaming, it brought up the, the outdoorsy, it brought up the, now the cooking. Oh, it's really trying to like, throw me off. The scent of something delicious being freshly baked waft through the kitchen. It's just the two of us. Looks like this batch didn't turn out well either. She frowned. Oh, then it can't be her because uh, she's really good at cooking, but it sounds like sh this, whoever this is, is not. Okay, so that kind of takes, uh, uh, that kind of takes, I want to say Scarlet, Violet. Yeah, that takes Violet out of the picture. But who else could it be then? Tara Learn, and I know she's not good at it, and she's also the gamer, but she doesn't go outside. I don't know. I don't know yet. We need more. We need more clues. She frowned. Hey, on the bright side, I can at least tell it's bread this time. Uh oh, that wasn't the right thing to say. <laughs> it has been a while since I've done this. Sorry, Eve. I, I I wanted you to have something good. Oh, it could be her. I reached for one of the pieces of bread. Wait, I'm sure it's. I took one bite, then wolfed the bread down like it was the last of its kind. It's delicious. I reached for another to prove my point. You really mean it? I took a moment to wolf down the second piece. Cross my heart. <laughs> You're just saying that. She smiled. Ah, <laughs> the moment I've been waiting for. She hugged me with all her might. But I love that you, you know. I love you, Eve. I held her tight. I love you too. For a moment, the whole world was just me and her. And that was all that mattered. What I wouldn't give to have you back like this. See, it always ends with a note that it's aware of what's happening. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm just thinking. I was thinking about Terra because, like, Terra. We went into virtual reality things, and it seems like uh, that pixelation thing that keeps happening ever so often. I don't know. Uh, at this point, it could be anybody. The clues that I'm getting just hint at each and every one of them at their talents. Except Scarlet. Scarlet hasn't really been hinted at, I don't think. But, I don't know. I hope you're as curious as I am. Put your... Here's what I want you guys to do. Put your guesses of what you think. Who do you think out of all these women here, including Cat, if you think it's Cat too, because I got my suspicions it could be Cat. But out of your suspicions, out of all six women, which one do you think is the one that I am talking to in my dreams? Give your best prediction. Uh, but if you know, don't spoil it. Uh, I want to. I am looking forward to figuring it out on my own. On my own. But do let me know your guesses. If you have some guesses, just list them down. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to hear from you guys. But with that, I'm going to end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Not Lad, signing off. Later, guys.